Hello, my name is Joe Bang. Today I'm going to talk about life insurance. And I'm sure that some of you already have an insurance plan on yourself. Some of you probably in the process of getting one. Some of you probably say, no, I don't need life insurance. And even worst case, some of you don't even believe in life insurance. But either way, saying you are here already, give me a few minutes just to educate you. So, I just like to let you know that in the United States of America, there are over 843 insurance companies, life insurance companies. I'm not talking about property and casualty. I'm not talking about health insurance. I'm talking about specifically life insurance companies. Again, I'm not talking about insurance brokerage, okay? There are too many, there are thousands, thousands of insurance brokerage. Today, I'm talking about life insurance companies that offer insurance plans. So of 843 insurance companies here, what kind of product do they sell? Simple. They all sell the same thing. But they design it differently. Give example. They all have term insurance, whole life, universal life, index universal life, final expense, and a few more. But these are the ones that all insurance companies, they are selling their product. And as soon as the 843 insurance agents walk to your door, how many of you will understand each of them try to tell you that their plan is better? If 843 do 843 presentations, Mr. A is going to say, my term plan is better. You should buy term insurance. Or Mr. B say, just buy, buy whole life. Whole life is better for you. Or Mr. C say, no, 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 no. Buy index new life because this is the latest life insurance product out there. Let me ask you, which is the better plan? Well, if you don't know that all these three plans are good because they all will pay the death benefit if you die today or you die tomorrow. But if you want to know which one is better for you, then you need to understand the benefits, the premium, okay? If, and then the, the death benefits and how much with your small dollar that you, you allocate to buy life insurance, which one will be better for you based on your current financial situation. And these are just insurance products out there. So, is, is there any latest products out there that are very popular out there? Of course. If you do your own research, and you know enough about life insurance, you're going to pick the right plan for you. I'm going to share with you the latest insurance uh, uh, plans with the latest benefits. Okay? The latest insurance plan that uh, most people are uh, buying, and most insurance agents, they want to educate you about those plans are the term insurance with living benefits. And the other plan is index universal life with living benefits. Now, up till today, these two plans offer living benefits. But remember, not every insurance company offers these living benefits. You have to ask the insurance agent about their product, whether that plan offer the living benefits. What is the living benefits anyway? The living benefits 
in, in another way, uh, it's like this. An insurance plan that you don't have to die to receive your living benefits or in another way you call death benefit because you're not dead yet. So they call living benefits. How do you qualify for something like that? Of course, I give you an example. This is one of the examples. Let's say Mr. John Doe bought a policy that has the living benefits. Let's say he bought a, a term life insurance plan with living benefits. He bought a million dollar plan. And his doctor or the professionals uh, diagnose that John Doe have a terminal cancer, that he will die within the next 24 months. This will qualify him to start collecting his living benefits. Of course, the doctor has to send in the medical information, notify the insurance company, and it is the job of the insurance agent to make sure that all, if John Doe is really sick, those information will sent to the insurance company so he can start enjoy his living benefits. How would you like to get insurance plan like this? That's why exactly today I'm talking about life insurance. Now, if you do not remember whether your plan has these benefits, then it's time to go look at your plan again, call your insurance agent, uh, look, go over again your plan, and maybe you already have it. And if you don't have that, do not blame your agent. Because maybe at the time you bought it, the, the plan that with living benefit doesn't exist yet. Maybe you bought that 10, 15 years ago, or 20 years ago. The living benefits it's not available, it wasn't available back then. So if you, after you sit down with your agent, he recommends you the latest plan, then you can go with the latest plan. You see? So, today, I will talk to those who say, uh, I don't want to buy life insurance. Here, my experience in the past is like this. The young generation say, I'm still young and I don't need life insurance. Life insurance is only for the older folks. But let me tell you this. If you have, have you ever been to the hospital? What kind of patients you see at the hospital? Everybody's sick. from a child to 80 years old person. That means we don't know who will die first. Maybe the parents still live longer than the, the children. So please do not say that you are too young. It's time to have life insurance on yourself because something should happen to you. Your parents may not have money to pay for the funeral expense. If your, your parents are at, the, at, the, at their 60s, 70s, how much money do they have in their bank account? It, especially in Hmong community, our uh, funeral expense range from between fifty to $80,000. Are your parents have seventy to 80000 or fifty to $80,000 just in case something happened to their children? Or something happened to you. Now, some people say, I don't want to buy life insurance. I don't want to leave anything to my children because if I leave a million dollars, half a million dollars, or uh, 40, 50 thousand dollars, my children will, they will kill each other for my money. Let me ask you this question. Whether you leave 
if you leave them some money and they don't know how to love each other and they fight each other for the money, that's a different story. But let's say if you die and you have no life insurance, they even want to kill each other. They, some of them may not even want to show up at their funeral. You see, either way, the best way is to have life insurance. Whatever they would do after your death, it's up to them. Because you do your job. You leave some uh, death benefits to take care of your own funeral. I hope you understand that. And I just like to those who are still young, and I say, I, want to buy, I don't want to buy life insurance because I don't want to listen to my children. My message for you is this. Do you love your children? If you don't love your children, why bring them to this world? In a more way, you can't be too many. 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 Okay? So think clearly before you say, no, I, I don't want to buy life insurance. Some of you are going to say, well, Jer, I have health issues. I should have bought 15 years, 10 years ago when I was healthy. It's never too late. I know the premium will much be higher than when you were young, when you were 10, 15 years, when younger. But buy today is better than buying tomorrow or maybe tomorrow you don't have life insurance. There will always be life insurance plans that you can buy and afford. Talk to me, talk to an insurance agent who can help you find a, a final expense insurance plan. But let me tell you out front that that kind of plan is a little bit more expensive than even more than the whole life plan, okay? Not, not even compared to the other plan. The term very really cheap. The index is, of, you know, the index of your life, the universal life is cheaper than the final expense. I hope you got my message clear here. Now, another you know, excuse people don't buy life insurance is because they say, Jer, I, I want to buy life insurance, but we don't have money. Let me ask you this. How do you survive till this day? You bring your paycheck every two weeks. So you can put food on the table. You can put roof over your family. And if something should happen to you today, and there's no more money coming in, and only your spouse, spouse income, how can they survive without you? You must do whatever you can. Buy whatever you can afford. I'm sure there will always be a plan that available that meet your financial needs. Let's say you don't really don't have money. Buy something to cover your final final expense. Then Plan to get a part-time job or get a better pay job so you can have extra money. You can buy a better plan with more coverage on yourself. Now, I'll come to my last part, but not the least. I'm sure some of you have other questions, but let's say you are in a market of buying, a, a getting a an insurance plan for yourself, you say, Sure, I don't know what plan should I buy. And if you've been watching my talk up till now already, that gives you some idea already. Of course, I have not shown you the plan yet that will meet your needs yet. But it is the job 
or responsibility of the agent to sit down with you, go over your financial analysis, how much money you make, how much debt you have, how many children you have, are you married, do you have any uh, elder living with you? And he or she will put a plan together and show you what is the best plan for you. And you can ask the insurance agent, say, please show me the, uh, illustrate to me the term, the whole life, the universal life, index universal life, and those that have the living benefits. Of course, if he is a good agent, he will be willing to show you the plans, all the plans. And then you will pick the one that meet your financial goals. Maybe, for example, maybe this is not the time for you to buy the index universal life yet because you still have some immediate goals the next three to five years. So we come to my last part I'm going to talk about here is this. Next episode, I will use Chinu's family. Chinu and his wife, they both have three children. Their mother-in-law also live with them. And I will use their uh, case here as illustration. See if you can relate to their case in here. And I will, I will show some of those uh, illustration about the latest insurance plan. Okay, the latest insurance plans, the one, the term with the living benefits, the index universal life with the living benefits. So you want to say, oh, no wonder he buy that product. Remember, every household have different financial goals and they have their own insurance plan that meet their financial needs. So that's the end of my talk today. And my second episode will come very soon here. Thank you and have a nice day.